In this video, I am going to show you how to make educational tutorial videos. This was a common demand from my subscribers. However, there are few commonly used styles for educational videos and it is difficult to cover all those styles in one video. For example, sometimes you want to make a talking head video. Sometimes you want to show your face at the corner with a color background. Sometimes you want to show your face on top of your presentation or whatever you want to explain. And sometimes you don't want to show your face on the video because all these video styles, they have different workflow. So what I will do today is I will take one example and this is a video style which I commonly use for technical courses. And because my understanding is that most of my subscribers are teaching mathematics or some science subjects. So this style most probably suits you. And I will not only show you what tools I use, I will also show you how I use them. And there could be one or two more videos where I will show you two more styles for creating educational tutorial videos. So if you are interested in this topic, please consider subscribing that I would highly appreciate. So let's get started. Now the video which I'm going to show you is taken from a math course. This is a math concept where I first explain the concept. Then I give an example and you may not be able to see the bottom part of the video because I am playing this video inside PowerPoint to show you. Otherwise the video is completely visible and then there are problems where I am writing on this image. So I'm taking advantage of the typed text. On top of that, I want to write and solve the actual problem. Then there is some additional information coming up as you can see like this one and I am solving the problem. And the best way to draw on these types of images is to use a low price tablet such as Wacom Intuos or Huion. And I have made separate videos on both of these tablets. I will put the link to those videos in the description and you can watch how these tablets work. You connect with your laptop by using a USB port and then they have a pen. So you open the image in PowerPoint and OneNote and you draw on the tablet and that will appear on the image. But if there is only a little amount of drawing, then you can draw with your mouse. And in this particular video, I am drawing with my mouse because this is doable. So this was a brief overview of this video. And now let us see how we can create these types of videos. Now the first step is I use canva.com which is a website for graphic designers. I am on their free account. And this is a website which in my opinion is the most useful for course creators. As you can see that these are my slides that I have created in Canva. So let me open one. And there is one problem with Canva is that you cannot write mathematical equations like this one because other than that you can put text on the left hand side this is text if you click on that you will see all these text examples and if i click on any of these this will be placed here i can ungroup this just by clicking on this ungroup and i can delete the text which i don't want and i can use this to make my headings in this way now in order to put this red color you simply type r on your keyboard and you will see a rectangle of the last color which you have used. You can resize this and after resizing just like that, sometimes it is on top of this text. So you simply change the position of this, for example, forward and backward. So it will move above or below the text. So Canva provides you very easy to use tools to create these slides. And I will talk about how I create these math expressions in a minute. But first, what size do you use? So if I click on this home tab, this is a place where you create a new design. So I click on create a design and then I use this option presentation 16 to 9 ratio. 1920 into 1080 pixels. So I select this option and Canva creates a new design for me. And now I can put any background. As you can see that all my slides have a green background. To do that, I select this and on the left hand side, there is background and there are a lot of backgrounds available. For example, if I click on this, this background will be selected. There are many. And now the only thing left is how to insert these 
math expressions. To do that, there is a website called Code Cogs. You simply type Code Cogs, and this is an online equation editor. I click on that, and this is the place where you can create math expressions. For example, if I click on this, now I can type x and then whatever power I want x raised to the power 3, let's say plus x, and then I press this one. 4. As you notice that this is my equations preview at the bottom and you can write almost any type of mathematical equation in here. So once you have written this equation then you click on this download and before you click on download make sure that SVG is selected. There are few other options here. You select this SVG and now this is the SVG and I click on show in the folder, click Control C to copy this and I place it on my desktop. For the sake of this video, it will be shown like this and now I can close this and once I am inside this uh, Canva interface, I click on this uploads on the left, upload media and from my desktop, I click on this and I click open and now my equation has been uploaded. I click on that and it will be inserted here. Once it is here, I can click on this color and I can change the color to any color I want. These equations look very professional because you are writing equations in LaTeX which is a very good document preparation system for technical writing. So in this way I put uh, my equations in my slides. The next step is to bring these presentations in PowerPoint. The first, first I have to download this Canva slide. To do that I click on share and download and select PNG and click on download and now I can copy this and I can place this on my desktop which I have already done and now I open PowerPoint and you don't need any paid version. You can use PowerPoint web app which is freely available on office.com. You only need a Hotmail account to access free web apps from Microsoft and now I click on insert and picture and from this device and and then from my desktop I click on this Canva slide and I click insert and as you notice that now it has occupied all the space in PowerPoint because we have selected the correct size. Then I click here and I right click and click new slide in this area and I delete this and to avoid this step you simply right click and click duplicate slide. So in this way you can insert blank slides and now you can insert the second canvas slide and the third and so on. And now I have inserted all these slides and before I record the screen what I normally do is I select all these slides for my first video and then I put a blank slide video 2 and then I start putting the slides for my second video because normally I record more than one video at a time. So I put all the slides of my second video and third video and so on. And then what I do is I start OBS. OBS is a free open source screen recorder software. You can download from their website, simply type OBS and you see this icon. I have made a separate video for this as well. And this is the OBS which is currently recording this video. So this part of the video is very important. If you want to capture the whole screen, you use display capture. If you want to capture a particular application window, then you use window capture. So let me first remove this window to show you from the beginning. And I click on this plus and I click window capture to add a new window capture source. You can change this name to, for example, PowerPoint but I don't want to do that so I click OK and now it has not detected my PowerPoint window. Sometimes it detects, sometimes it doesn't. So the best solution is you close this and you close this as well. And now I have reopened my PowerPoint and I right click on this window capture and I click on properties and now I can see that window capture has detected my PowerPoint window. So in my case display capture is at the top because I am recording this YouTube video. But when you are recording your course videos you don't need this display capture. You will only need a window capture and a mic. Very simple. And now the next step is 
I want to capture only this slide and I don't want to capture the rest of the area and I don't want to go in slideshow mode by clicking on this icon because in slideshow mode although I will be able to see the slide only but I won't be able to write on this slide and because I want to write here to solve the problem so I want to keep this in this way while only capture this slide. So for this I have to tweak the window capture in OBS and now for our course video recording we have to put window capture as an effective source. Currently both sources are visible so the source at the top is effective. So therefore display capture is effective, window capture is not. So I can either turn this display capture invisible by clicking on this eye icon, display capture will be off and window capture will be on. But the problem would be that you guys will be able to see only my PowerPoint window if I turn this invisible. And I have to explain something in OBS about this window capture. So first see what happens. I turn this invisible and now you guys are looking at my PowerPoint presentation. You cannot see my OBS console. So what I need to do is I have to start a new instance of OBS and start recording in that new instance and stop in this one and in the new instance of OBS I will keep display capture as the effective source and then I will explain to you what to do in your window capture to record only this part of the screen. So I am going to start a new instance of OBS. Now this is our window capture and if you want to record only the slide area what you need to do is first make sure that window capture is effective then you click inside this area and you will see this red rectangle with some dots and this is the key step and it makes your life very easy if you do this what I am going to show you in next few seconds. So there are few upper right corner or any other corner I can press shift and I can also press ALT key and this is what you need to do. You press ALT key and then you drag this right side towards your slide just like that. So basically you are cropping this whole area and now I am still pressing my ALT key and I am dragging this side as well same with the other side and same with the top side. Now we have selected only the desired part which we want to record as a tutorial video. Then I click on this slide and I drag it to one of the corner of this black window. And now this time I press control and I drag from the lower corner until it covers all the black space and make sure that you don't cut anything here. Now once this is done, now you are ready to record only this part of your screen. You simply click on start recording here, then you open your PowerPoint, you will be looking at PowerPoint just like this and you start talking about your first slide, then you press the down arrow and the next slide will appear. You keep talking, keep explaining about this tutorial, then press the down arrow again. The next slide will appear. You just keep explaining what you want to explain in this video and OBS will be recording everything, only this part of the screen. So you keep pressing the down arrow and keep explaining. If you want to write, as I explained earlier, you can use the pen and tablet or you can use the mouse to type anything here and in this way you will be able to record your tutorial video. So that is it for today. I hope you like this video. If so, please give it a thumbs up. Thanks for watching and see you next time.